Hello. In this lecture on power electronics, we are gonna study DC DC converters. So we, this is the first stage of power electronic circuits. Before we start detailed discussion on DC DC converter, at first we have to learn learn what DC DC converter does. We have already uh, said in our intro video that DC DC converter changes the voltage. That is. What it can do is it can make the output voltage smaller than the input voltage or it can make the output voltage larger than the input voltage. Depending upon which circuit we are using it can do this. And there are certain cir uh, circuits which, uh, which can do both of them. That is in certain conditions of the circuit they can make the output smaller insert and uh, in other conditions they can make the output larger. Now we will be studying about 6 types of DC DC converters, bug boost, bug boost, chuck, sepik and zeta in gradual succession before move before we move into the detailed discussion of uh, dc dc converters we have to know about certain basic terminologies or base and basic equations we know the basic voltage current relations of resistor uh, resistor this is ohm's law v is equal to ir or i is equal to v by r for inductor we know v is equal to l di dt and i is equal to 1 by l integration of v dt similarly in case of capacitor v is equal to 1 by c integration of i dt or uh, i is equal to c dv dt we have to remember this equation these are the basic driving equation in solving any circuits another new terminology that will be encountered with is duty cycle uh, as uh, f uh, our first topic of this course was power electronic switches or semiconductor switches and we have said the switching is very important uh, for power electronics so we turn uh, in power electronics we turn the uh, turn a particular switch on and off at certain frequency and at that position duty cycle becomes important duty cy cycle is basically this parameter states the time uh, which is on versus the total divided by the total time that is in this uh, in this case this is the time period of the circuit and this is the t on so we can see that here 50 percent of the time the switch is on and other 50 percent the switch is off so we can say in in this case duty cycle is equal to 0 0.5 that is half the time it is on half the time it is off similarly here 75 percent on 25 percent on off so d is equal to 0 0.75 here similarly d is equal to 0 0.25 we'll see later on that this duty cycle has a very great role to play in power electronic circuits and uh, different voltage voltage and current relations now the steady state response of an inductor uh, suppose uh, we have already seen that uh, l is equal uh, sorry v is equal to l di dt now this i can have two components isc plus i dc both components are there now if we just modify it what uh, it becomes l di ac dt plus l d i d c d t now d c is fixed and as a result its differential will be zero we can neglect it so from this we can get i a c is equal to integration of 1 by l v d t now we have uh, IAC is integration of 1 by L V D T. Now for one complete cycle, complete cycle that is if it, this is from 0 to T. We know in case of AC for a complete cycle the current AC current is equal to 0. So we can write integration of V D T is equal to 0 for one complete This relation that is integration of VDT for one complete cycle is equal to zero. This relation is very important. Why is it important? At one, uh, that is the voltage across the inductor is all uh, the summation of voltage across the inductor is always zero. That is, inductor gets charged in certain part of the cycle, 
and it gets uh, discharged in certain part of a cycle such that the summation of voltage or the integration of voltage is always zero. Now we have learned all the basic terminologies uh, required for our detailed analysis of uh, different power electronic converters or DC DC converters. So we move to the first converter which is buck converter. What buck converter does is it converts V output which is smaller than V input. That is the input we provide will always be larger than the output we get. So here we see we have a voltage source. The circuit arrangement, arrangement is such that here is a MOS. Uh, it is wrong with the MOSFET here. This is basically a switch. It can be anything from MOSFET, BJT, anything. Then we have a diode here upwards we have an inductor and this resistance and capacitance together act as a load together acts as a, act as a load so this mosfet since this is a switch it may have two phases the on state where this is short circuited and the off state where this is open circuited in our analysis we will be needing the both so for our analysis first let us uh, think when the switch is on when the switch is on this red mark uh, red mark arrow indicates the uh, flow of current so let us assume input plus upwards minus downwards input is vi current through the inductor is vl and output voltage sorry voltage through the inverter uh, across the inverter is vl and output voltage is vo from this we can write minus vi plus VL plus VO is equal to zero. What we are doing? We are just basically doing uh, KVL. We are basically doing a KVL. Minus VI plus VL plus V0 is equal to zero. From this we can get v, VL is equal to VI minus VO. We put this equation number one. So in, when the switch is in on state, the induct, uh, the voltage across the inductor is equal to V input minus V output. What happens when the switch is off? When the switch is off, we can see that this is open circuited. That is no current flow through this. So now what happens? The inductor is charged. That is it has a voltage across it. When the switch was off, uh, inductor was getting charged. Now since there is no input connected this inductor gets a chance to discharge and it discharges in this direction it it cannot and it will not discharge in opposite direction because of two reasons firstly inductor was charged with the current coming through this point so inductor will be discharged with the current going through this point and again uh, because of the presence of this diode no current can flow in this direction as a result this is the direction of flow of current through the inductor so Again, we are considering VL and V V naught. It is to be noted that the polarity we have marked here has to be the same that the polarity we have marked in case of on state. So in this case, we can found by applying KVL again that VL plus V naught is equal to zero, or V VL is equal to minus V naught. This is equation number. Two. Now, what happens in a complete cy cycle? We have already learned that in a complete cycle 0 to t, our integration of VL is equal to 0. That is voltage to the inductor, the integration is 0. Now, this VL has two components. When the switch is on, the switch is on from 0 to t on time. From When the switch is on, this VL is equal to VI minus V0. Again, again when the switch is off, this V V this is equal to T on integration of T on to T. This output voltage VL is equal to minus V output dt. Now the summation is zero according to the uh, uh, steady state condition. We, have, we are considering all the relations in steady state. Uh, so what happens is, here we can see we are considering, we are providing a pulse like this, where this is T, the total cycle, and this is T on. So uh, in the time T on, 
the output is this that is the voltage across the inductor is this in the time from t on to t the voltage across the inductor is minus v naught so since v i and v naught both are constants we can write v i minus v naught integration of 0 to t on dt is equal uh, is equal to v naught integration of t on to t dt we can modify it as v i minus v naught integration of 0 to d d 0 to t on would be t on minus 0 is equal to v naught t minus t on so from that we can write v i t on minus v naught t on is equal to v naught t minus v naught t on from there we can write v i t on is equal to v naught t minus v naught t on my plus v naught t on now these two cancels each other so from there we find v naught is equal to t on by t into v i or this t on by t we have already know is called duty cycle so we can write v naught is equal to t into v i now let us notice that see suppose we are giving a pulse like this the total time period t will always be greater than the on time t on so the total time period t will always be greater than on time t on it can be equal to t on as well as a result t by t on sorry t on by t will always be smaller than or equal to 1 it can never be greater than or equal to 1 as a result what we can find is d can never be greater than 1 as is, as a result the output voltage v naught can never be greater than v i that is output voltage is decreased so how how we control this switch we control this switch uh, we are, let us consider a mosfet we control a switch by giving pulse in the gate as we have learned already so we can control the timing of the pulses and we can control the duty that is on time and off time of the pulses by doing that we can control the duty cycle of the pulses by increasing duty cycle of the pulses we will be increasing the output voltage by decreasing the duty cycle we will be decreasing the output voltage but the output voltage will never be greater than the input voltage this is the voltage relationship of a buck converter now current relationships current relationships we can notice that when the switch is on in this condition when the switch is on we can see that uh, uh, we can we have already found the equation that vl is equal to vi minus v naught vl is equal to vi minus v naught we have already learned so i know we know that i is equal to 1 by l integration of v l d t that is i on so it will be 1 by l integration of v i minus v naught d t now v i and v naught both are constant so it will be 1 by l v i minus v naught integration of d t so this is an integration of d t that that means this will be this will give a result similar to t and the value will depend on actual limits of it that is 0 to t on so we can see that this will be this if we draw the current curve i uh, current curve at the on time this is i on comma l that is the current through the inductor if we draw the current curve we'll see that it will be a straight line and since our v naught is smaller than v input the slope of the straight line which is this will be positive that is when the switch is on the inductor current will keep on rising what happens when switch is off switch off at that condition we can see that inductor is being discharged and we have already found out the relations that vl is equal to minus v naught 
so i l is equal to 1 by l integration my integration of minus v naught dt is equal to minus 1 by l v naught d integration of dt uh, it will be from t on to t so we can observe that here the slope is negative as a result when the switch is off the current through the inductor will keep on decreasing here we can see that when the switch is off the current through the inductor is decreasing now we can note that uh, in the on state the current through the inductor is the input current that is the current that goes from input in the off state there is no input current i in is equal to zero in, in the off state of the switch there is no input current in the on state the input current is equal to the i in is equal to i l again in the off state same current passes through output and inductor that is i output is equal to i l again in in the on state same current passes through output and inductor so in this case also i output is equal to i l so we can note that i output is always equal to i l but i input is equal to i l when the inductor is on that is only from 0 to t on time 0 to t on time that is only this fragment t t on, t on by t only this fragment of the uh, uh, of the current of the inductor will reach the input while the whole inductor current will reach the output now if we uh, want to find out the output versus input that is i by i output by i in we'll get uh, we'll get i l divided by t on by t i l now i l i l, I -L cancel we'll get i naught is equal to t on by t this is d so we will get 1 by d i l uh, sorry 1 by d i in it is to be noted that uh, from the buck, uh, from the buck converter relations we got v output is uh, we got v output is smaller than v input but in case of current the output current is larger than input current why because here d is smaller than 1 d is smaller than 1 so 1 by d will be greater than 1 as a result output current will be greater than input current this is the current relation of an uh, current relation of a buck converter now one thing is to be noted we we notice that the current through the inductor is always positive that is there is always a current flowing through the inductor this kind of operational mode is called continuous conduction mode and uh, any power electronic circuit bug boost or whatever that might be switching circuit will work only when the inductor works in continuous conduction mode so we have to learn to design the uh, design the circuits in such a way so that the inductor value is such design that the current will never be zero that is this inductor current will never reach zero so this is one of the design uh, design uh, parameters that we have to notice when we actually go on to design a bug converter of our own uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'll be discussing about new, uh, different types of DC-DC converter in, in my next lecture. Thank you.